Hi, this is Mr. Max. I am doing circular measure and trigonometry. So this is uh, one of five questions and I'm going to do five little videos for you. Okay, so um, you might have seen this also if you have the textbook in Namibia that is the Y equals MX plus C series textbook. If you have that, then you will also find um, this is for AS level students. You will find these questions there. All right. Anyway, uh, let's go directly into it. So we have here a question. Uh, it says that in the diagram, ABED is a trapezium with right angles at E and at D. And CD is a straight line. Very important. The length of AB and BC are 2D as well as 2 root 3 times D respectively. And angles BAD is 30 degrees and angles CBE is 60 degrees. You are now supposed to find the length of CD. So um, maybe you can go ahead and uh, you can uh, perhaps draw a dotted line like so. The reason why I'm drawing that dotted line there is because and maybe I can indicate this to be point F because whatever that distance of B F is uh, the distance of B F is exactly equal to the distance of E D all right and uh, obviously we can also find the distance of uh, C E right so in a nutshell then C D should equal to C E plus E D and I already I already indicate to you what we are going to look at E D. Another thing that you need to be uh, on the lookout for is you need to know your special angles. Okay, so the special angles that we are referring to is like thirty degrees, sixty degrees, forty five degrees. All right. Uh, these are special angles that you should be able to know. So if we um, create a equilateral triangle, now you just have to um, bear with me. I want to see if I do have um, a triangle here that we can uh, use as a shape. So we just want to see if we have a triangle. Okay, well, doesn't matter. So. I'm going to draw one with the free hand. So if you have an equilateral triangle, okay, suppose there's an equilateral triangle, which means this distance is equal to that distance, is equal to that distance. At the same time, these angles here will be 60 degrees, for example. So let's suppose that distance is 2 and that distance is 2. This distance under here is also going to be 2 units long. You agree? Now, if we draw a perpendicular line from one vertex so um, let's suppose I say um, we are going to draw a perpendicular line so let's say we draw a line like so okay it's a little bit it's a little bit far-fetched but so hopefully you, you get the idea all right so what this line is then it's going to bisect this side here so this distance is 1 and 1 like that, and that's 60, and the angle there is 30 and 30. So what do we now know? So if you take a right angle, triangle, which is like a 60, 30, and 90 degree triangle, this is 1, this is 2, and this height can be calculated. That height will be, you using Pythagoras theory, the hypotenuse squared minus the other shorter distance. I hope you can still remember how to find that. So it means that the height would be 4 minus 1, which is root 3. Okay, good. So we are now dealing with such a scenario here. We have got a right angle triangle CBE, and this distance here obviously is going to be root 3. Okay, but we need to be able to use whatever distance we have. Right, so if we now look at that triangle, we have the hypotenuse, 
we are looking for, let's suppose, CE, which um, is this distance from here all the way up to, to there. That's the distance that we are looking for. So that means we are going to say um, the sine, the sine of 60 degrees, okay, is equal to whatever CE is going to be. So it's CE, which is the opposite over the hypotenuse which happens to be 2 times the root 3 multiplied by D. We already know from our work what the sine of 60 is. The sine of 60 will be the if, if we use the triangle that we have here, the sine of 60, so this is now root 3. So the sine of 60 is root 3 over 2, okay? Root 3 over 2. That is if you take the opposite and you divide by the hypotenuse. So this is nothing. But before maybe once get there, let's just cross multiply. So CE is going to equal to the sine of 60 degrees multiplied by, okay, because you have 2 times root 3 times D. But we know already, as I said, what the sine of 60 degree is. The sine of 60 degree is root 3 over 2, okay, from our special angles there, multiply that by 2 times root 3 times D in order for us to find what CE would be. Right, so we just have to clean this up a bit. So this is going to be cancelling, like so, all right? And uh, now you are going to be left with um, the sine of 63 with its root 3 over 2, okay? I hope you, you follow with me. It's the opposite here over the hypotenuse, all right? So when you cross multiply, you're going to get um, 2 times 3 root d, three, 2 times root 3 times d, of course. Um, so our answer now is going to be nothing else but 3d. Now, what, what I want to show you is if you have root 3 times root 3, remember this is the same as 3 times 3 over the square root, which is nothing but 3 squared over 3, which is also 9, which is 3. Although you can also come here and realize that the square and, and, and the root, they cancel out each other. Okay, so that's what I have there. All right, so that gave me now the CE distance, which I'm just going to go ahead and write in here. So CE happens to be nothing but 3D. Right, so the next one that we are going to look for, we are going to look for the distance of ED, which uh, if we have to talk about right angle triangles, we're going to compare this distance is going to be exactly equal to that distance. So I'm going to work then with this triangle here. So when you look at that triangle, it's 30, 90 here. And we have the hypotenuse. So again, in triangle ABF, so maybe one have to say in triangle ABF. Okay, so that is the triangle that we are going to look at. We're going to say the sine of 30, sine of 30 degrees, so sine 30 degrees is going to equal to, okay, go back to our diagram, it's going to equal to BF, which is the same as ED. So I'm just going to write ED, so I hope you don't get confused, or I can say BF over 2D, okay, BF over to D. Right, so when you look at um, cross multiplying, this is going to give you BF is equal to 2D multiplied by the sine of 30 degrees. Right, so 2D, and we know that the sine of 30 degrees, if you go to our special triangle, the sine of 30 degrees will be uh, one half, because sine is opposite over hypotenuse, right? So it's the opposite one divided by the hypotenuse. So it's going to be one half. So the sine of 30 degrees is a half. And if you multiply um, 2D times a half, you get that that value is equal to D. So what does it mean? It means then this value here is equal to D. Subsequently, this value is equal to D. Right, so we can actually now calculate our CD. So our value of CD 
if I have to come and write it in here, uh, or just underneath here, I want you to take note this of this particular um, statement here. So CD equals CE plus ED, all right? So I'm going to write it here. Uh, therefore, therefore, CD will equal to 3D plus D, which CD then is nothing but 4D. Okay, so that is how you are going to approach that question. So again, make sure sometimes you have to um, extract the triangles and then you work from there if you have forgotten um, these special angles.